The Narcissist's Inevitable Downfall How Karma Catches Up to Their Misdeeds Have you ever wondered if narcissists get the karma they deserve? Do they ever truly pay for the trail of destruction left in their wake? I'm here to tell you, their downfall is imminent. While it may seem like they skip off into the sunset unscathed, rest assured karma has its own timeline. And it often strikes when they least expect it. Today, let's explore the telltale signs of the narcissist's impending karmic demise. Justice will be served. Understanding Karma and its impact on the narcissist. Karma comes for us all eventually. What is this invisible force? Karma simply means we reap what we sow. If someone constantly plants seeds of betrayal and heartache, they will eventually face the bitter harvest. For the narcissist, karma manifests progressively in numerous ways. Isolation, as friends and family, finally cut contact. Loss of reputation, respect, and status. Stress-induced illnesses that attack the body. Pervasive inner misery and emptiness. Inability to form lasting bonds with others. Make no mistake, the narcissist's actions breed negativity that ripples outward, systematically destroying relationships and opportunities. Their callous treatment of others becomes their own undoing. Can the narcissist avoid karma's grasp? The narcissist foolishly believes they can outrun karma, but no one is above the universal scales of justice. Here's why the narcissist cannot ultimately manipulate or avoid karmic law. Their motivations are selfish and devoid of empathy. Intentions matter to the cosmos. Karma reflects their true conniving nature right back at them. They eventually pay for their deceit tenfold when abandoned and alone. Karma is an unbiased force that holds all mortals accountable. The narcissist's desire for control blinds them to karmic lessons. But karma patiently waits, ensuring a day of reckoning where the bills come due. The narcissist's toxic impact on relationships. The narcissist's manipulate behavior systematically sabotages their relationships. In romantic partnerships, they cheat and lie repeatedly, shattering trust, slowly isolate and control their partner, blame others for their own disturbing misdeeds, discard people callously once they are no longer useful. With friends and family, they habitually take advantage of loved one's kindness, spread nasty lies and rumors, causing deep rifts, ignore boundaries and requests, belittle others' interests, needs, and concerns. Through their callous words and treatment, they burn bridge after bridge. Their overwhelming toxicity drives away anyone once close to them. The narcissist's downward destructive spiral. The narcissist's callousness eventually backfires spectacularly. Without sympathetic targets to provide validation and praise, their fragile false self starts to unravel. Cracks in their perfect facade begin to show. Be on the lookout for telltale signals of their downward spiral, such as childish rage episodes and emotional breakdowns, desperate attempts to hook exes using hoovering tactics, quickly jumping from relationship to relationship, pathetic attention, seeking through exaggerated social media posts, mounting jealousy of former partners who move on. This erratic behavior depicts a disturbing shadow of the bold, grandiose mask they once wore convincingly. While karma's justice may seem slow in coming, it often strikes suddenly and harshly after years of untold atrocities. Why exposure to their downfall eludes us. 
despite longing to witness justice firsthand, we're often mysteriously shielded from seeing the narcissists collapse. Why is this? As empathetic people, even witnessing a narcissist's suffering can stir conflicting feelings of mercy and sympathy. Even after the incredible pain they inflicted without remorse, we instinctively care when people are in need. However, we must prioritize our own healing path. The narcissist's fate now lies in the hands of karma's higher power. Completely extricating oneself from their toxic grip is the only way forward. While their actions invite inevitable karmic retribution, dwelling on their downfall prevents our personal growth. To thrive, we must release resentment and embrace the possibilities of a brighter future. Karma's wheels. Grind slow, but exceedingly fine. Karmic justice operates on its own perfect timeline, one we may never witness firsthand. But have faith, the narcissist's web of lies imprisons them in misery. Their strained relationships function only to provide supply, never reciprocity. Their time draws near. While you heal surrounded by positivity, the narcissist desperately clings to their withering false self, terrified of being exposed. When the mask finally cracks, it will shatter completely, revealing the empty void behind it. The narcissist's distorted worldview blinds them to karmic forces at play. But eventually, their callous behavior yields disastrous results. Inner misery and rejection arise after years of mistreating others. Their deceitful actions spawn far-reaching ripples of destruction within every relationship. While they believe themselves untouchable, karma's reckoning comes for all in time. We don't always see the fallout ourselves, but we can trust it unfolds methodically. For now, stay strong and focused on your own healing, paving a bright path forwards. The narcissist's bitter fate was sealed by their own hand. Karma will handle the rest. How does a narcissist's toxic behavior ultimately bring about their own downfall through karma. A narcissist's completely self-serving actions and lack of empathy for others generate strong bad karma that ultimately sabotages any success or happiness they may achieve. Their toxicity and exploitation of people for personal gain breeds consequences that come back to destroy them. The narcissist leaves damaged relationships and betrayal in their wake, which comes back to haunt them. Over time, their manipulative false self repels people until they are completely alone and isolated. Their bridges have been burned, their reputation is destroyed, and everyone they once deceived now sees through their pathological lies and keeps them at arm's length. This karmic alienation is the direct result of how badly they've mistreated others and their inability to genuinely connect with people. They are trapped in a prison of their own making, a vicious cycle of hurting and using people for narcissistic supply, which inevitably leaves them empty-handed and without meaningful bonds. Why can't narcissists avoid the universal law of karma no matter how sneaky and ruthless they are. Narcissists erroneously believe they are so cunning and above everyone else that they can somehow escape cosmic justice and dodge karmic retribution for their actions. But in reality, no one is exempt from the universal scales of justice. Even the most sophisticated narcissist who believes they've pulled the wool over people's eyes cannot manipulate or bargain with forces of the universe. The narcissist's intentions behind their harmful behavior are purely selfish and devoid of any empathy or compassion. They possess no moral compass, conscience, or humanity in how they use others for their own gain. 
these purely selfish motivations carry immense karmic weight that shape the narcissist's ultimate destiny. Their actions breed negativity, destruction, and misfortune that will boomerang back at exponential levels. The ripples from their toxic behavior spread like a virus, contaminating every area of their life. They may appear unaffected at first, but karma has ways of slowly, painfully eroding the very scaffolding that props up their house of cards until it eventually collapses. There is no outrunning nor hiding from cosmic justice. The narcissist's day of reckoning will come as it does for us all. Karma patiently levels the playing field until the price must be paid in full. What kind of karmic retribution do narcissists potentially face for their endless wrongdoings? Eventually, the narcissist will reap a harvest of karmic repercussions and retribution fitting of the pain and damage they've doled out. Their toxic patterns of exploiting others for selfish aims, deception, emotional abuse, and pathological manipulation carries great karmic weight that must be balanced. Some karmic consequences narcissists face are external, like isolation and abandonment as friends, partners and associates all cut the narcissist out of their lives after finally waking up to the truth. Their reputation may be utterly destroyed as the narcissist becomes notorious for their deceit. Financial hardship stemming from their unstable relationships and multiple burned bridges may also ensue. Other karmic repercussions emerge internally. Chronic health problems and strange illnesses induced by lifetimes of stress as the narcissist attempts to manage their false self-image. They may struggle with pervasive inner misery and restlessness despite accomplishing goals because nothing can fill their vast inner emptiness. Their toxic patterns also attract toxic people, trapping them in dysfunction. Overall, the narcissist lives in a prison where no healthy bonds can form. Happiness and fulfillment perpetually elude them. Their actions bred only negativity, and thus their karmic destiny reflects the storms they created. How does the narcissist's karma unfold insidiously in romantic relationships? Within romantic partnerships, the narcissist's karma creeps up on them for their cruel and abusive patterns. The narcissist inflicts severe emotional trauma through infidelity, pathological lies, manipulation, indifference, and devaluation of their partner. This creates immense karmic burden. Even if the partner stays under the narcissist's coercive control for years, the situation is unsustainable. Eventually, when the partner reaches their breaking point, the narcissist's karmic bill comes due all at once. The partner inevitably wakes up to the abuse and escapes the relationship. The narcissist's loss of control over the partner delivers a heavy karmic blow. The narcissist will be condemned to relating to others through deception and superficiality rather than true intimacy. They sow seeds of isolation and mistrust, which keep them permanently stunted in their connections. Any new partners also quickly pick up on the narcissist's duplicity thanks to warnings from their ex. The narcissist is again dropped and left in disbelief that they are facing karmic repercussions. They are mystified when relationship after relationship crumbles for the same reasons. Their own repeated infidelities, manipulation, and failure to engage in emotional intimacy. The narcissist's toxic behavior breeds a karmic cycle of people repeatedly entering, then abandoning them. Why does the narcissist seem completely immune to karma during the relationship, carrying on their abuse without consequences? During the relationship, the narcissistic partner often appears maddeningly immune to karmic consequences, no matter how horrendously 
they treat the empathic partner. They continue the abuse, infidelity, gaslighting, exploitation, and pathological lying without facing any repercussions. This is because the empath remains bonded to the narcissist, bending over backwards to please them under the spell of trauma bonds. The empath's rescuing enables the narcissist's behavior. The narcissist cunningly mirrors their victim, pretending to be their soulmate before devaluing them. Their manipulation convinces the empath to stay and put up with the abuse. However, underneath the facade, the narcissist's actions are slowly building immense negative karmic energy that will collapse their world when their partner finally leaves. The narcissist's seeming invincibility is only an illusion sustained by the empath's presence. Once this empathic source of supply cuts ties with them, the narcissist has nowhere left to hide from karma. The cowardly narcissist only appears immune because they keep their victims captive through control tactics. But once freed, the narcissist's karmic fate is sealed. In what ways does the narcissist's toxic behavior eventually backfire and rebound on them through karma over time? The narcissist inevitably self-destructs through their own malevolent patterns and karma subsequently delivers the consequences. Their deeds backfire over time in various excruciating ways. As they sink deeper into their false self-delusions, the narcissist tries desperately to hook ex-partners and sources of supply using manipulative, hoovering tactics. These ploys fail pathetically as the narcissist's toxicity becomes widely known. They then swiftly jump from superficial relationship to relationship, trying to secure the admiration they crave. But they remain perpetually unsatisfied, only able to form exploitative bonds. The narcissist also obsesses over their public reputation, constructing an impressive facade on social media to mask their fraudulence. But their excessive vanity appears obviously overcompensating evoking disgust rather than praise. Additionally, the aging narcissist finds they can no longer rely on their looks, prowess, and superficial charm that once ensnared victims so easily. Thus, the narcissist increasingly chases what they cannot have, the unquestioning adulation, control, and perfect fantasy life they feel entitled to, which continually eludes them. Each desperate grab only tightens the karmic noose. How does aging impact the narcissist's ability to obtain narcissistic supply and witnessing their declining illusion of grandiosity brings them karmic repercussions? As narcissists enter the later stages of life, their ability to secure the admiration and envy of others wanes dramatically delivering crushing karmic blows to their grandiose yet fragile false self. Their aging appearance and fading looks, which they rely on heavily for supply and superiority, no longer garner the same attention and vanity satisfaction. Thus, aging delivers a direct hit to the narcissist's source of supply and sense of pride. Additionally, the narcissist struggles pathetically to come to terms with their own mortality as their control over themselves slips away. After evading accountability throughout their lives, they cannot escape their decline. Their fear of death and losing command exposes their core cowardice and fraudulence. Aging also confronts the narcissist about the emptiness of their fake existence as time runs out to accomplish their imagined greatness. All their manipulative schemes ultimately came to nothing. They can no longer delude themselves into believing they are exempt from mortality and its harsh lessons. Aging forces the narcissist to reluctantly face the karmic truth 
rather than running from their emptiness through false self-constructs. The narcissist meets their karmic fate as they witness their warped masks and facades slowly crumble to dust. Why don't empaths witness the full extent of the narcissist's ultimate karmic downfall and destruction? Interestingly, despite longing for karma to confront narcissists, empaths are often mysteriously shielded from seeing the full extent of narcissists' downfall unfolding. It is as if the universe purposefully shields the empath from witnessing the satisfyingly dramatic final karmic implosion. This injustice and lack of closure can feel frustrating initially. However, there are significant reasons for this protection. As highly empathetic people, even witnessing our antagonists undergoing severe suffering can stir conflicting feelings of mercy and sympathy within us. We may find ourselves feeling guilty or tempted to rescue them, even after the horrific pain they inflicted without remorse. Allowing empaths to fully see the narcissist's collapse would thus re-engage painful fixating. Empaths require a clean break to heal. Further, focusing too heavily on watching the narcissist prevents us from moving forward and robs precious energy needed for our own growth. The narcissist's ultimate fate is now in the hands of a higher power. True empowerment comes from escaping the emotional prison of the narcissist's making. While bearing witness to their undoing may seem satisfying, it distracts us from the deeper work of rebuilding an authentic, meaningful life. Can exposing a narcissist's endless lies, deception, and manipulation being them the karmic downfall and justice they deserve? While the urge can arise to expose the narcissist's true toxic nature to bring them the public karmic downfall they deserve, this exposure often does not work as intended. Shining a light on their harmful phoniness by revealing their manipulations to others does alert those around them about who they are dealing with, which can help prevent further victimization at the narcissist's hands. However, full-on publicly disgracing them rarely delivers the dramatic karmic payback we hope for. In fact, many high-functioning narcissists amazingly continue evading accountability despite widespread awareness of their misdeeds. Don't stake your inner peace or healing on their exposure. You may be waiting forever. Accept what you cannot control. The narcissist's disorder prevents them from developing self-awareness or morality. Only karma can adequately address their choices at the spiritual level in due time. You have the power to cut ties, opt out of their deceptions, and move forward to a life free of illusions. Allow karma to unfold as it sees fit without seeking to influence or witness the outcome. What is the ultimate karmic punishment or reckoning for a narcissist who discards their empathic partner callously? For the narcissist who exploited then opted to abruptly discard their loving, empathic partner without care or remorse, the greatest karmic punishment is losing this cherished person permanently. An empath's unconditional love and nourishing emotional support cannot be replaced or reproduced. Once they leave, the depth of this loss slowly devastates the narcissist as time reveals how uniquely their empath complemented them spiritually. The narcissist is confronted with the sobering reality that the vibrant, life-giving light this empath infused into their existence has vanished, leaving them trapped in a cold, empty void. No new supply can ever revive the luster they stole from their empath. The narcissist exchanged a profound soul bond for superficial attention, and it cannot be undone. They experience karmic hell 
knowing their greatest source of life-sustaining energy now resides with someone else, forever out of reach. This painful absence and longing consumes them as their just karmic reward. How does a narcissist react when an empath partner awakens, cuts off their narcissistic supply, and leaves them to gain independence? When an empath partner awakens to the abuse and finally decides to leave, abruptly cutting off the narcissist's supply, the narcissist typically reacts with explosive panic and rage. This correlates to their level of reliance on the empath for managing their false self and pathology. Losing their primary source of nurturing supply inflicts grave narcissistic injury. The narcissist's wounded false ego lash out through desperate hoovering tactics to rehook the empath back under their sphere of control and influence. When these tactics inevitably fail, they may barrage the empath with vindictive attacks, slander, and threats intended to intimidate them into reconsidering the separation. However, beneath the fury lies terror and dismay that their most vital supply source is escaping their grip. The formerly captive empath's departure delivers a crippling karmic blow. No new source can ever replicate or replace them. The narcissist's patterns of exploitation and abuse have finally rebounded, leaving them without their unique empath's spark. They are condemned to repeating their cycle of futility. What karma comes from a narcissist's infidelity, chronic deception, manipulation, and betrayal of their intimate partners? A narcissist who routinely commits infidelity and betrayal in relationships accumulates intense karmic debt. They leave in their wake a trail of traumatized partners, unable to trust or open their hearts again due to the grievous wounds selfishly inflicted. The narcissist, in turn, will come to know the karmic despair of perpetual isolation. Their deceit breeds mistrust that sabotages any hope of long-term connection. Once their true colors show, they are routinely abandoned and forced to perpetually hunt for meager attention fixes. Any new partners also eventually see through the false persona they constructed through their pathological lies. Each failed soulmate story methodically strips them of their ability to hoover targets. Over decades, it dawns on them they will never salvage a functional relationship. All paths lead to the same dissolution, a just karmic fate for those who selfishly took so much, yet gave so little.